Murder. That's what it is. Murder that again, last Thursday, shocked our country. When Jenny and I spoke about it, we, we just couldn't get our heads around it, as I'm sure is the case for every single parent. And it doesn't matter whether you're a parent or not, you can't imagine it. It is just too horrible to contemplate. The act itself, and that someone could perpetrate that act, particularly as a father, it is incomprehensible. An act of such depravity that only masks, makes you ask, how does such evil happen in our land? To the Clark family, all of us here extend our sympathies and our love. But I must wonder if that could ever be enough to cover the profound grief. They have shown incredible resilience and character in the worst of all possible circumstances. As best as we can, we also send the country's love to you. In your grief, you have every right to be angry, furious, because everything we have done across this country to protect women and children didn't protect Hannah and her children from this evil. I believe state and territory and national governments, all of us, our agencies and importantly the judiciary, we must all reflect again on these terrible murders. We must reflect on how and where the system failed Hannah and her children as it has failed so many others. It's so frustrating. It's so devastating. Whilst this was the action of a depraved and evil man, we know enough of the circumstances leading up to the murders to know this should not have happened. And there will rightly be an inquest in Queensland, and I commend the Queensland government for taking that action as they should. It will speak the truth, I have no doubt, as so many others have spoken the truth. And we already know this. Hannah deserved to feel safe and be safe and to watch her joyous and wonderful children grow up. And earlier, and Liana and Trey deserved to have a childhood that was innocent and to have lives that were long and joyous. For most of us in this chamber, I'm say for all of us, the words family violence just jar. Saying those two words together, they should never be together. They have nothing to do with each other. Quite the opposite because our families should be the safest place in all of the world, particularly for our kids, our kids. But sadly, all too often, they are not. We know that, as hard as it is to believe. One woman is killed every nine days by a partner or a former partner. One in six Australian women have experienced physical or sexual violence by a current or former partner since the age of 15. We know these figures. 